think that a family store <coughs> is me. Doesn't um, isn't going to require marketing because admit it the family is the purchasing and the the consumer. Um, but when you think about what marketing actually is, it's promoting the use of products. And let's be real here: um, the things that store well probably are not going to be the first thing we grab when we open the cupboard. Um, so we need to incorporate those storage food items into our regular food plan. And I talked a little bit of before about uh, the benefit of using the food um, on our bodies. There's um, the components of the whole wheat and the whole grains and the, the legumes and the powdered milk. And our, we may not like it, we may not be used to it, and so we probably would not use it, not eat it, if we don't have a period of, of becoming accustomed to it. Um, I know that that's a real danger. Certain children would starve rather than eat foods that they're not familiar with. And <laughs> my children are very picky, so I'm going to have a lot more food storage because they're going to refuse to eat. Hopefully, we'll, we'll not have that problem for everyone. Um, I did want to, what else was I going to say? I'm not thinking of it. Marketing, um, put in, you, you know how to use foods, how to do a Google search and say, okay, what can I make with whole wheat? Or... Actually, I've never tried that, so <laughs> maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, but see what it, you have in your storage and then find ways of incorporating that into your, your regular food. Even if you do it in stealth mode for your children so they don't realize that they're eating their vegetables or they're eating these whole grains, um, go half and half wheat and white when you're making bread products or whatnot. So, um, that's basically what the marketing is for the family store is finding a way to utilize that food to rotate it to acclimate for it and to um just be able to use it 